Will you? Well, I will. The two most powerful words in the English language are I will. Because what comes after I will will shape your life. What you speak after I will, what you believe after the words I will, will control your decisions and shape your life totally. If you believe you will succeed, you will succeed. If you believe you are capable of achieving great things, you will achieve those great things. You will attempt those great things in the first place. If you speak into your life resilience and determination to overcome anything, you will be ready to face and overcome anything. Friends, let the power of I will shape your life in the most powerful way. What you speak after I will is important. What you believe after the words I will will control your decisions and shape your life. Friends, if you believe you are strong, if you believe you are capable of achieving great things, you will attempt those great things in life. I will love. I will be strong. I will be successful. I will be an achiever. I will be abundant. I will be rich. I will be determined. I will be focused. I will be disciplined. I will be healthy. I will be wealthy. I will be beautiful. I will be wise. I will be capable of anything. I will be someone who makes things happen. I will be filled with faith. I will be blessed. I will be grateful to God. I will believe in God. I will thank God for making me a miracle. I will be connected. I will be with God 24-7. I will be more than my body. I will be empathetic towards others. I will be ready for others. I will be focused with others. I will be excited. I will be a fighter. I will be more than enough. I will be a winner. And friends, I will be a champion. Friends, you can't just speak the words. You must feel the words. And then you must believe those words, I will. Repeat them every single day. Let them soak into your subconscious. Dream about the words, I will, because what follows them, let the power become one with you. Are you ready to be great? I will. Replace I want with I will. What comes after I will is the most important thing you could say. Instead of saying I want to be rich, just say I will be rich. Say it, feel it, feel it until you believe it. I will love. I will be strong. I will be successful. I will be abundant. I will be rich. I will be determined. I will be focused. I will be disciplined. I will be capable of anything. I will be strong. I will be a strong person. I will be limitless. Thoughts are powerful, my friends. Thoughts lead to actions, my friends. Actions over time become habits, and habits lead to long-lasting results. If you speak negativity into your life, negativity will show up in your life. I will be me, and I want you to be you. Now stay tuned and join for today's message. Take care. Good morning. My name is Ralph Friedrichs. I am an author, an addiction recovery coach, a life coach, and the host of this show, the Take Your Life Back Today radio show. You can do video version this if you go to YouTube under channel Take Your Life Back Today show. Friends, he's going to take care of me. Let me encourage all Christians to show love, joy, peace during this uh, coronavirus outbreak. As concerns over the COVID-19 pandemic continue, I want to remind believers that there is still hope. In a YouTube video I did last week that I posted, I explained that we must not forget to, to be people who show love and concern for other people. During this particular time now, it's so easy for us to lose uh, what we are supposed to be all about, which is to, to be people who are loving and concerned that hundreds of people every day are dying and many are heading uh, to an eternity apart from Jesus Christ. Friends, I, I want to encourage Christians not to lose sight of the love, the joy, and the peace that is still among us. My prayer for you, my audience, is don't lose your love during this time. Really think, God, I love you and I want you uh, uh, to be uh, 
part of my life. I want you all folks to look at others around you in love and how you can serve those people. This is one of the greatest opportunities as uh, a church uh, and Christians where people are open to talking about serious things, life and death changing things. My videos of coronavirus crisis, what you need to know can also uh, emphasize that we cannot lose our joy and to rejoice that our Father is still with us. The Bible commands us to rejoice in the Lord always. I know it's weird time when you can't gather together as a big church and a Christian family. And we can find some disappointment, but don't stop rejoicing of the fact that right now you can be alone and in the presence of the Almighty God. Believers should have peace throughout this unique experience. And remember, there's nothing to fear. We are people that are supposed to be fearless, but what do I have to fear is the question. I don't have to fear death, and this is the way that Christ wants me to live. I know him. I don't fear death. He's going to take care of me while I'm on this earth, and when it's my time to go, my friends, it's my time to go. This morning, early morning, I urge believers to have an attitude of grace and thank God for allowing us to be with Him during this time. This is a time where we thank God and say, God is so good that I am with you and nothing can separate me from God's love. Despite being on lockdown, we can get closer to church and God. By yourself, no matter where you are watching me, you can thrive in your walk with God. That I guarantee you. I believe it's God's grace on us. This is the fruit of the Spirit. Take advantage of this time. This is one of our greatest opportunities for reaching out to the lost world and showing them that we haven't lost our love, we haven't lost our joy and our peace, even at this critical time in life. The enemy can't take that away from us. We love the Lord Jesus Christ and his fellow Christians are well and are all alive. Let me conclude this way. God is everywhere, even in the news. That's why we view every news story through the lens of faith. We are committed to delivering quality, independent Christian uh, uh, messages each and every day for the last week on my show but it takes a lot of hard work time and money to do what I do so I want you to continue watching me and maybe subscribe to my channel because that supports me it does support me each click supports me call me at 844-405 help together we can help each other take our lives back be good to yourselves and always be good to each other remember a simple smile to a total stranger can help that chain that stranger and change their life and it can change your life well, keep watching me i've been concentrating on the coronavirus for over a week now i still have a few more shows to go and then we'll go back to our regular scheduled programming but in the meantime remember god truly loves you never forget that and we'll talk to you guys tomorrow take care bye-bye now